Well, hi, Ms. Clark. My name is Alan Lyme. I'm a social worker here at the Family Health Centre. Um, Dr. Seal asked me if I would spend some time with you today. I'm really glad that you're here. I'm just curious as to why he would send you to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I came to see Dr. Seal last week because of increasing stress and anxiety that's mm -hmm. kind of getting the best of me. And mm -hmm. in the course of um, my appointment with him, um, he was asking how I was dealing with that stress. And I mentioned that my one or two glasses of wine a few nights a week is turning into more frequent in maybe three or four on some nights okay. and um, he had some concerns about that and and felt like maybe you could help me with stress or something. Yeah, so, so he, um, he asked you to see me because you went to him for increased stress mm -hmm. and he's concerned that your alcohol consumption may be a part of that increase. And prior to prescribing you anything, you wanted to make sure that you at least had someone to talk to about that. I suppose. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw that you filled in one of the pink sheets. Yeah. May I take a look at that? Yeah, he told me to fill that out and bring it with me. Okay. Thank you. Um, so um, you say here that you have four or more drinks in one week. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned that you may be increasing that a, a little bit as well. Um, and that you have one or two drinks in one setting. Typically. Yeah. And that uh, maybe uh, monthly you ha have more than that. Mm -hmm. Um, what what's, what kind of drinks do you have? What do you drink when you typically drink? Um, wine with my meals. Um, you know, again, one or two typically and more frequently um, three or four since okay. my stress has increased. So it's starting to increase, you're starting to drink a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, based on what you put here, you give, it gives you six points on this scale. Um, the scale ranges from zero to 40. So mm -hmm. six points will put you in what we would consider an at-risk zone. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's okay with you, I'll just talk a little bit about that. Okay. Okay. Um, so the at-risk zone, say it runs zero to 40. Uh, it's, not, it's not a super high risk, but it certainly could be a risk for maybe increasing stress, maybe some physical ailments um, related to alcohol as well. Uh, mm -hmm. could, could start to show up if you were to increase your drinking from there or even stay there. Um, this is a typical standard drink size over here. I'm, I'm not sure whether that fits your description of a glass of wine or not. Uh, I filled a glass up, so maybe a little more than yeah, that. Yeah, maybe that little space at the top, mm -hmm. so perhaps a drink, drink and a half each one. So that also increased a little bit more. So perhaps maybe drinking more than you indicated on mm -hmm. here. And for a woman, healthy woman your age, um, no more than three drinks in one setting is considered to be mm -hmm. uh, lower or no risk, and no more than seven in one week. Seven total seven in one week? Seven total in one week. And what you say here is that even on this sheet, you are perhaps already drinking more than that. So what do you make of all that? Um, that it's news to me. You know, I thought red wine with your meals is supposed to be healthy, mm -hmm. and you know, no more than seven in a week. That seems kind of prohibitive. Yeah, yeah. It seems seems a little less than perhaps you've been drinking or what you consider mm -hmm. to be healthy drinking. Mm -hmm. And certainly, there's there's conflicting information out there about what's healthy and what's not healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I imagine the increased stress is what con what concerned Dr. Seal. Mm -hmm. um, as your stress increases, and if he were to prescribe you anything, maybe some interaction between the two mm -hmm. that, um, that would also be a concern for him, I would, I would think. Um, so if you would, what is it that you like about alcohol? Well, you know, it, it does, at least in the moment, temporarily reduce my stress. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, like a good glass of wine. I don't, mm -hmm. don't drink the cheap stuff. I like right. the expensive. Right. So you like the taste of it, mm -hmm. and it does help to lower the stress, even if it's just for that, that mm -hmm. time you're drinking. What are the not so good things about alcohol for you? Um, well, you know, the nights that maybe I have a f couple more glasses than I should, I wake up feeling kind of yuck. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, part of my stress is finances, and I mentioned I like the good stuff, and so mm -hmm. if I'm drinking more, then I'm increasing my financial burden. Yeah. So, so your financial stress may be increased by the fact that you're drinking. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, defeating the purpose kind there. Of a 22 mm -hmm. there, drinking to reduce stress and increasing stress mm -hmm. at the same time. So on the one hand it lowers it, and on the other hand it's increasing. Mm -hmm. Kind of a seesaw, teeter-totter effect there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of, of that, given that on one hand it lowers and the other hand it increases, and, and now it's increasing even more? And maybe I need to find some other way to deal with my stress. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and have you, I imagine you've had some thoughts of that. What, what have you thought of trying? Well, I've exercised in the past, and that helps. Mm -hmm. um, right now, my schedule is kind of out of whack, and mm -hmm. um, I just really don't know what to do. That's why I came to see Dr. Seal. I mm -hmm. thought maybe he could prescribe me something that would help me 
you know, when I'm feeling overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And he may be able to. I'm not saying that he mm -hmm. cannot. I'm just imagine that he's concerned that if you, if you continue to drink on the level that you are drinking, that whatever he prescribes you, uh, there may be an interaction with the two. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I imagine that's his concern. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not completely sure. Um, so you've had some success in the past with changing behaviours, mm. and if you were to decide to, to make any changes here, it sounds like you could draw upon that to make mm. those changes. How important would it be for you um, on a scale of zero through ten? I have a little kind of visual here of that. Um, if zero is is not important, ten is is very important to do something about your drinking right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if if it means that it's increasing my stress and or he's not going to prescribe me anything because of mm -hmm. my drinking then it's fairly important maybe about a seven mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty up there um, why did you choose a seven not a, a five or a four well again I've got to get things under control you know my kids are dependent on me mm -hmm. and um, I've got to go to work to help ease this financial stress mm -hmm. and so you know all those responsibilities. So there's a lot, a lot riding on your decision here mm -hmm. on what to do with this. What if anything will bring it up to an eight or nine on that scale? Um, well, the you know the risk that you mentioned um, about the drug interaction, I certainly can't afford to, you know, have any more stress. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so you you choose to lower your stress rather than increase it, and if lowering your drinking would, would have that effect that's something you'd be willing to do mm -hmm. right now. How confident are you that you could do something about your drinking? Um, pretty confident. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, probably about a seven or an eight. Okay, so it's pretty high up there again. And what if what if anything would you choose to do? Would it be to cut down? Would it be to quit? I'm just curious about well, what you're Well, you know, I, like I said, I like a good glass of wine. I don't want to quit altogether. Um, I'd be willing to try cutting that. But now, if it's going to, if Dr. Seal would agree to prescribe me something for the anxiety, and it meant that I had to not drink at all, I'd be willing to do that at least for a period of time. Mm -hmm. So you'd be willing to to stop altogether? If that's what was indicated by mm -hmm. the physician. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so so based on that, how ready are you to do anything right now? Whether it's to cut back, whether it's to quit. Uh, well, again, you know, if if. I can get something to help me manage. If maybe I can find some other way to deal with the stress, then, mm -hmm. then you know, I I'd be pretty ready. I again maybe about an on that scale maybe an eight. Okay, so that's that's pretty high up there as well. Um, it, it sounds as though you're you're pretty motivated to do something about this right now, given your responsibilities, given your children relying on you at this point, mm -hmm. uh, and, and just on on lowering your anxiety in general. It sounds that mm -hmm. that's one of your goals as well. Well, I'm, I'm pretty confident that once you decide to do whatever it is you decide to do, you'll be able to follow through with that based on your experience in the past of, of making behavior changes. Uh, I imagine there's some things that you can draw upon. Um, what's one thing that you could do, I imagine you thought of some things, that might help to lower your stress? Well, I, you know, the, the exercise, but again, that, mm -hmm. that's kind of difficult to fit in right now. Mm -hmm. um, hoping that Dr. Seal will prescribe Mm -hmm. something for me to take when I'm feeling particularly overwhelmed mm -hmm. and um, maybe just having somebody to talk to, okay. to bounce some things off of. One of the things we can offer here is for you to come in and talk to one of our behavioral health specialists, mm -hmm. maybe able to help you talk, talk through this, this area of your life, this area mm -hmm. of increased stress and sound like responsibility there. And we can make an appointment for you if you like um, before you leave today that, to talk to somebody. That'd be nice. Great. It also has some information here if you're interested. Um, some a pamphlet on alcohol and and how what healthy limits are and how it may be affected by medications that you take as well. Okay. Um, and I, I wish you lots of luck. It sounds as though you're really committed to making this shift and this change. Um, and I imagine Dr. Seal will want to follow up with you and see how you do with your with your change um, within a few weeks. Okay. Um, and and I, again, I, I look forward to speaking to you in the future. All right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.